by. The yellow light is flashing. We could send them on their way, and we do. Away they go into turn one and two. It's a little bit slippery. Watch out here, fellas. There could be problems. A slip and a slide or two, but they've all handled it nicely out of turn one and two. And the leader is the number 18 car of Brian Gregg. Coming up from the Central Coast to compete regularly at the Motodrome. It's been a while since he's won one here. Maybe this can be his race. The 37 car has moved up quickly into second spot, Mark Goodwin. And then the number 43 car of Darren Scott. Oh, there's trouble up there. Brian Gregg has spun out and on the infield. But the race goes on. He's off the track. He's not causing any problems to cars. He's off the track by the looks of things here. And the race continues. 37, Mark Goodwin is the leader. In second spot, the 43 of Darren Scott. And here's a car trying to push out of the pack too. It's the number 30 of Greg Ross. He's moving up on the outside there of Darren Scott. Lost a little bit of ground because he went up very high. And he starts to close ranks on Darren Scott now for that battle between second and third. Oh, he still drifts up very, very high though. Going into that corner and as a result loses a lot of ground. And now he starts to move back onto the tail of Darren Scott one more time. A little bit slippery, a little bit slidey up the sprinkle of that water and a few of the boys are having troubles coming with it. And we've got troubles going into turn one. There's a spin, there's a jamming on of brakes and oh, everybody managed to get out of real serious troubles there. The 28 of Ron St. John and the 60 of Stephen Gay with the two cars in trouble. We still have a lot of people who are moving into our motodrome circuit to look for uh, a spot to sit. Well, I can tell you that there are quite a few spots in our uh, grandstand seating here if you uh, have a look along. And I'm sure if you ask people, we're, we're a great cooperative lot here at the motodrome, if you ask them to snuggle up a little bit closer, wrap their arm around the one who's sitting next to them, that is, if they know them, of course, you might sort of squeeze up a little bit and uh, let some people who are looking for some seats come in and sit down comfortably and watch the Speedway program tonight and of course the big attraction the Nissan Navara big one and don't forget once it's done its demolition job on the infield what about the demolition derby we're going to have a little later on I think we've got nearly 40 cars lined up again no make that 50 50 cars to be lined up and to bash and crash themselves to a standstill. $1,000 goes to the last car running. And you know what, boys and girls, that's the only race of the year that you and I get to start. We give them a big 10 countdown to send them on their way. Stay awake for that one, but rug up nice and warm whilst we're getting there. There's the green flag for the restart. It's a little bit of a crowded restart going into turn one and two. Oh, Ross got out wide. Goodwin got into trouble. Ross is going to get the lead here, I think, on the inside. You wouldn't read about it. He was in third place at the start of the race. And within the space of half a lap, he's hit the front. Greg Ross is now the leader in the number 30 car. Oh, Darren Scott, bang, into the concrete wall. Whoosh, into the car on the inside of him. He's gone helter-skelter onto the infield. Round in a circle he goes, slipping and sliding on the green grass. And the yellow light comes on. Gee, there was a traffic jam there coming down Main straight away when Darren Scott had a bump with the concrete wall. When he bounced off the wall, he had a bump with um, King in the 29. And King had nowhere to go. He had to race off onto the infield. And that put him right out of the race. But um, the chief steward saw all that. And he said, no, we're going to line him up again. We're going to send number 43 onto the infield. He's going for a little bit of an early shower. It's not even the sin bin. We don't let him come back on later on. He's copped the, fla the black flag, which says, see you later. This is event three on your program. Hope you've got a program there with you that keeps you in touch with racing right throughout the night. The modified hot rod division to sprint. by for the start, that is the restart, four laps left to go. Away they 
go. The green flag sends them into turn one and two again. There's a little bit more slipping and sliding there, but still Greg Ross held onto the lead. Here comes a challenge, though, from out of the blue. The number 14 car of Steve Edwards has moved up quickly into second place, and Dave King in the number 29 car is back to third. Then there's a gap back to Cassidy in the red hot rod, and we'll keep our eye on the three up front who are battling it out for one, two, and three. Down back straight away, Greg Ross, the leader. Steve Edwards in second. He's starting to uh, try and move in, but he's driving very untidily. And as a result, David King says, I'm coming through on the inside. Steve uh, Edwards says, I'm not real keen about that. Tries to come back at him on the outside, but too late. David King has pinched a couple of car lengths on him and moved up clear in second spot. Now Edwards is starting to close the ranks again in third place, and it's a good battle with only a lap left to go between Greg Ross, the leader, David King, who's running second, and Steve Edwards, who's running third. Into turn one and two they go. Oh, there's trouble with Greg Ross getting up very high. Steve Edwards will get the split down the middle and shot to the lead. The little black number 14 car of Steve Edwards has had the race presented to him on a plate. Here's Dave King having a shot at him on the inside. He spun out and it's the 14 of Edwards who's first. The 30 of Greg Ross, followed by the 15 of Cassidy, then the 5 of Debbie Dedderer and the 37 of Mark Goodwin. No time taken on the uh, finish, uh, on the race because of the race stoppages and a win right in the last two thirds of a lap to the number 14 car of Steve Edwards, the Soleil sponsored car, number 14. Give him a big round of applause as he carries the chequered